Hi, it's Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to complete all of the aspirations, max all the skills, earn all the degrees, reach top level in all the careers, and do everything that you can do with a single sim. Now, Carla is just back from the prom and I happened to see Butterscotch. So we're going to ask Butterscotch to join the household. I don't know if this will work or not. It didn't look like it did. Maybe I have to be talking to her first because I know this doesn't really work very well with other ghosts unless you're talking to them before you ask them to join the household. Okay, this time it looks like she did it. And there really wasn't a good opportunity to get any sort of screenshot out of that. Um, okay, well, I guess this will have to do. Yeah, if anybody wonders why my screenshots don't often match what I do in the game, it's because you have to ruin the animation in order to pause it in order to get a screenshot. Or you could just try to recreate it later. And okay, so yeah, that was just a terrible screenshot and I just ruined the animation. Well, the idea behind that is that hopefully we will be able to go to the ultimate horse competition with Butterscotch and she's a ghost horse. I know you can use horse Ambrosia in order to bring them back, but she's an elder and I don't think that there is an age down treat. So she would just die again rather soon. Why are you over here? Why don't you go to your bed? Sim sometimes. How did Butterscotch get the handiness skill? Uh, it says 0% complete. Well, that is really weird. <laughs> I don't have any mods in this game, so I don't know how she got that skill. But anyway, we need to increase her jumping skill to level seven, and then we just need to get all of her other skills up around the board. Now, ghost sim horses actually float. Let's see what happens when they do jumps because um, they really don't need to jump if they float or it's probably just the same animation. Yeah, it's the same animation. They actually run along the ground and then jump. And we just need endurance racing for Tornado. And we got gold. So that's the last gold we needed. Unfortunately, the ultimate horse competition is only on Saturdays. Well, you can take ghost horses on competitions. It let me do it. All right, so I guess we'll try for agility first, then jumping and endurance. And it looks like temperament is pretty good for butterscotch. Training horses is just a little boring and repetitive sometimes. But hey, we had the fast forward button for that. It took almost all day to get from agility level seven to level eight. And we're in a tiny home and I've encouraged training and my horse skill is a max. So yeah, this is just a little bit hard. You can have a horse train by itself, but unfortunately what happens is a lot of times they will knock over the jump or knock down the barrels or just get tired and stop doing it. They seem to do it for a lot longer if your sim is helping them. Or in some cases, they don't. I did not say you could stop. Where are you going? No, you're not going to dance. Why is he going in here? Or she? No, you're not going to sleep. Your energy is fine. Wake up, Tornado. You're Why are, is Tornado a lazy horse? And it seems like the other one, Caramel, will not rest. Or Butter, sorry. Butterscotch will not rest when she needs to. For some reason, Tornado has decided to practice barrels and practice jumping on her own. Although she only did one jump and that was it. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Okay, so the kids don't have to go to school today. Oh, wait, it says class in 55 minutes. I think maybe I have disabled day off of school for, yeah, for the holidays. They do not have the day off. All right, well, actually, that's fine because I need to request a science fair for tomorrow. And I don't want to have to miss it again this week and have another week of being a teenager. 
Although I did say send them all alone, which I now realize I shouldn't have done because I need to ask for a science fair. Okay, well, maybe I can go to the school afterwards and request a science fair. I'm not sure. Okay, if you go right back to the school, it looks like everyone is still here. And I'm going to tell him to request a science fair. Hopefully he can get it. No, we are not going to the chess activity. We are going to request a science fair. I know he's going to be late for his activity, but I don't care. I want to request the science fair first. Yeah, let's just have me sit down in the principal's chair. Um, I'm going to request the science fair, so I'm going to do it from the position of power. It's just kind of funny how the Sims don't have assigned seating. Okay, we have a chess science fair tomorrow at 5 p.m. Okay, now we can go. I'm going to have the others join the cheerleading team just in case we were having trouble doing cheers because no one was on the team. Okay, and no one has an after school activity on Fridays. So that was my problem last time is that one of my household had an after school activity during the cheerleading competition and didn't show up. And for whatever reason, it seemed like they wouldn't do the cheers until that person joined. And then I'm going to have to turn off autonomy so that they don't autonomously join a group cheerleading thing because it's just annoying. I want them all to be coordinated and in sync. And they were just dropping interactions left and right. And I have no idea why. So we'll hopefully get that to work this Friday and not be so buggy. What are you doing, Carla? Playing video games. Ah, it seems like Butterscotch is doing barrels by herself, too. Um, well, she knocked one over. That's fine. But it's kind of funny how the horses tend to train themselves every once in a while. I don't think they did that at lower levels. I might have to fire the ranch hand, though. He keeps getting in my way. I want to train my horses, and he's just taking care of them even though they are really excellent hygiene and full hunger but no he has to give them an apple or brush their coat or make them stop what are you doing okay i was about to say you better go for your ride sometimes they just drop that interaction for whatever reason and why are you stopping all right well whatever okay finally we're level nine endurance and then we just have to get our agility, temperament, and jumping ability up to <laughs> level 9 or 10. I want them to all to be level 10 because for the ultimate horse competition, you only get one chance per week. And your skills, even if they're max, you may not win. Why did you get off the horse, Butterscotch? You're not supposed to be able to get in there. How are you in there? Is it because you're a ghost? Great. Butterscotch could just go through walls. A. Stop introducing yourself to my horse. I'm trying to ride her. No, we are not talking. Stop it. No. The other horse was trying to train here, and so that made Tornado not use these jumps. <laughs> Come on, use the jumps. This is the third try now. Why are you going to dance? I told you to train on the other jumps. No, you're not. Okay. Tornado's energy is low. Fine. Everyone go to sleep then. And of course, I realize that you can request a science fair from your phone. You don't even have to go to the school. Well, now I know. I need a way for him not to go to his after school activity today, though, because he goes until 530 and the after school activity is at... I guess I could just bring him home early and he can get a penalty to his after school activity. Who cares? Maybe we'll have Carla stay home so she can help the horses work on their skills. And we'll send the rest of them to school alone. Oh, come on. Everything interrupts her riding. If anybody walks up to her and starts talking, she immediately gets off the horse. Go for a ride. Why are you doing that? Go for a ride. She's going to go watch TV. Go for a ride. Hop up. Uh, 
because sometimes The Sims is annoying, I put something in their queue for them to do, and I just have to wait and wait, and Aww. they sometimes just decide they're not going to do that. <laughs> I can understand if she gets knocked off the horse, but she has max horse riding skill, and she never gets knocked off the horse. Sometimes it seems like the tiny home really doesn't do anything for horses. Their skills don't seem to go up very fast, especially when they get to higher levels. And even if you're encouraging training, training intensely and making sure their needs are met first. Well, she's not in a good mood now, but she was. Uh -huh. Oh, right. We have to go to the competition or the science fair so we need to get off the horse please and go there early and of course it's raining now she probably needs to be focused but I guess confident is okay too we'll try that first and see what kind of score she gets and it sounds like there's a lot of fireworks going off but it can't be fireworks Okay, it says solve chess puzzle, but she's not moving anything. Maybe this one is bugged too. It could also be the fact that she is not part of the chess team. I think that sometimes bugs things. Okay, she still hasn't moved and it's been over an hour. I don't know why this doesn't work. Come on, Carla. This is ridiculous. It's going to be 8 p.m. and she's not going to get a score. Okay, now she does. Great. I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, she picked up one piece and moved it and that was it. Why is she not moving? Why is she not completing it? I guess maybe she doesn't know how, but that doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, I'm going to submit a score. Even though it, 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 come on, hurry up before it's 8 p.m. Before it's 8 p.m. I have no score, but. Okay, she is currently in first place, despite the fact I didn't get a score. So maybe you don't have to solve the whole puzzle. And, okay. It looks like we are having the competition judge go up to the front again. And this is typical of these silly festivals is that she has this announcement from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. which takes up a, a big portion of the festival and the winner is not announced here. You have to wait until 10 p.m. until the winner is announced. But you can no longer submit scores once she comes up to this podium. So you really only have three sim hours if you arrive right at 5 p.m. and you have to walk all the way over from here at the top of the school or the zone in point for the school and go all the way to the festival area, which is all the way over here. This was just poorly thought out and poorly designed because you can't really enjoy the festival. You have to hurry up and try and score if that's what you want to do. All right. Well, do we? Okay. It's 9 p.m. Can we stop listening to her talk now? No, no more listening to her talk. Okay, we'll wait here until the festival is over and see if we won or not. All right, all the stuff is disappearing. I forgot to check and see if I had the t-shirt, but I'm pretty sure I have these t-shirts because I went to the computer science fair or the programming. Oh, we got first place. <laughs> okay, even though we didn't solve the logic puzzle, we still got first place. Wait, 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 wait. Reached endurance level eight, Sims will now be able to ask for fitness advice from Butterscotch, which will improve the Sims' fitness skill gain for a time. Horse abilities actually help your skill gain? Why was I not told this before? I know I didn't pay attention to any of the trailers for, or live streams for Horse Ranch, but was this ever mentioned? Okay, so if there's ask for fitness advice, 
ask about favorite type of ride, ask about endurance training, talk about writing compliment physique. I don't really know what any of these do because it doesn't tell you. But when you gain a new writing level, I guess it gives you a little message that tells you what it does. I wonder if the agility affects any skill. I'm not sure what agility would affect. And maybe temper meant would be charisma and again i'm not sure it says ask about jumping mechanics maybe logic i have really no idea well if i ask about jumping mechanics do i get a buff that says it increases my fitness or something of that nature tornado advises to press a to jump Whatever that means. Okay, is it just a, <laughs> yeah, and Tornado is laughing. Is it just a joke or does it give you some kind of skill? Oh, it does. Giddy up, level up from asking advice from a horse. What can a horse teach you about gaming? Okay, apparently a lot. Carla is pretty sure that if she puts what she learned from horse jumping advice into practice, she will be better at video gaming. Okay. That doesn't really make sense, but I guess it's fine. I guess in order to be a true super sim then, you would have to keep a horse around that had max skill so that you could ask for all of the little buffs in order to get a higher boost to those skills. Although those skills, I probably already maxed them out, but we will keep a horse around just for the heck of it. Ask about dealing with Sims. Well, I know that one probably gives a charisma buff. Yep, more charisma. And they stack. You could ask for more than one of them. Okay, uh, practicing lessons from asking advice from a horse. Are four legs better than two when it comes to dancing? So agility is for dancing. Carla isn't sure, but learned a lot about dance from some friendly horse advice. Maybe she should give it a try. She might improve. Yeah, like I said, all of these skills are ones that I've already done. So jumping is video gaming. Agility is dancing. Endurance is fitness. And temperament is charisma. Nothing that will help me. Can we call in sick to school? I really don't want to go. Yes, we can. So now we can stay home and send everyone else in by themselves and take care of the horses for the day. Everyone is hungry, except for Carla, of course. So I'm going to hire a caterer, and then maybe I won't have to make dinner for a while. I don't see my caterer. Oh, well, wait. There's gumbo over here. I think that was from earlier, though, because I don't see anyone making food. I guess I'm going to just have to pay the butler to do it. There is already a caterer hired on this lot. Uh, but where are they? I don't see any caterer. Sometimes there's too many sims on a lot. So a service sim won't show up even though you've ordered one. And that looks like what is happening here. Because I do not see any such caterer. Oh no, there she is. Okay. So we have one now. <laughs> she just took forever to get here because she's pregnant. The only thing with caterers if you, is you have to be careful and put the food into the refrigerator, not only to keep it fresh, but also to keep the counter space open so that they can make more meals. They should automatically put it in the refrigerator or maybe set it on the table at least. I think maybe Tornado is going to be the horse to win the ultimate horse competition. And I like Tornado anyway, because she has pink hair. So what we might do is get the ghost of Tornado and keep her basically for her buffs that she gives it really doesn't make sense though because we've done all of the skills that she can help with we could also keep butterscotch but i don't think we need two horses all right we should have plenty of food for a while caterers make a lot of food i would have everyone just grab quick meals but it seems like they don't do that too often and it also gives them an uncomfortable buff if they do it too much. Okay, we have no vacation days, so we'll have to send the kids to school unless we can call in sick. No, it doesn't look like we have that option. 
Okay, Gabriel has a crush on Stuart for some reason. Maybe we will have to try to hook them two up. And we continue with the training on Fast Forward. Oh, I completely forgot. Gabriel is gay, but Stuart is straight. All right, well, that won't work. Okay, sorry, Gabriel. You have to get over your crush with Stuart. I wonder if you can set him up with someone. I think in order to set him up, though, you have to actually talk to the other person and know them. Try as he might, Gabriel can't get over Stuart. Okay, um, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, look, it's Renee Barron Jr. She actually aged up into a teenager, and I like that hair. It's kind of interesting with her blue skin. For once, the random townie outfit is not half bad. Of course, it's raining, and Stuart is mortified. Stuart! Okay, he will jog. If you specifically tell him to jog, he won't shuffle his way over there very slowly. So that's a benefit. I have disabled autonomy, so hopefully they will not try to do a group routine on their own. I need to make sure they're all over there first and they're all ready and no one else is on that cheer mat. Okay, please let me do the routine. Is there too many people? It's like she's shooing away Stuart or maybe she was shooing away Sion. Oh yes, we're actually doing a cheer this time. Yay! The cheers are kind of lame, but at least they're not just shaking their pom-poms. They're doing little backflips and actual jumps. All right, we have until 7 p.m. to finish this. Or actually, we have until 8 p.m. to finish this, but we need to finish it well before 8 p.m. so we can submit our score. Zero! Why? Why did Carla's cheerleading group achieve a score of zero? That was at least worth some points. <sighs> Maybe because Stuart is mortified? Still, okay, we'll try one more time. The only other thing I can think of is that Carla is not a cheerleader. The rest of them are. And the only one I've ever seen get a score is Rhonda. Okay, we got six. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Six. <laughs> okay, it must be Stuart. I don't know how to fix that, except for maybe try to get a moodlet solver. And I'm not sure what the best moodlet would be. Maybe confident. Come on, Stuart, hurry up. Drink it. Maybe the scores are cumulative. I know that the football one is definitely cumulative. No, we got a score of zero. That is ridiculous. I don't think it has anything to do with... Ah, hopefully we can get a six this time or something. I'm not going to even have time to submit my score. Wait, is there no judge here? A uh, high school student, football team member, cheerleading team member. Where is the judge? There's not even a judge here. I can't believe I'm doing this for nothing. Great. Sometimes the judge doesn't show up because you show up with too many teens. We're going to have to do another whole week as a teen now. There's no judge. There's no judge anywhere. Well, I guess we can join the cheerleading group and try and see if a high-ranking cheerleading uh, position will actually affect our score. Actually, before I do that, I want to do a celebrity cleanse and pick new abilities. So maybe I can join at the same level and get top of the career or easier yeah it's 8 p.m and i don't see any judge coming here to make an announcement well that's unfortunate maybe i should move out one of my members and only have two people come with me because it seems like the judge didn't materialize and it's because there's too many sims here but the thing is, I don't know if I send one of them home, if we can do a group competition. Because it seemed like with three, they wouldn't do it. Okay, let's see if I only have three people, if they will actually do the cheer instead of just shaking their pom-poms. Okay, it looks like they are. I wonder if I could do a solo routine and get a score. Because that would be nice. I got a score of three. There's three people in my group and I got a score of three. 
Do I get a score for a solo routine? And of course the <laughs> festival ended before I have a chance to figure it out. Okay. Well, I think we can move Stuart out because Stuart is a little bit uh, having a thing with Gabriel and Gabriel is crushing on him and he can't get over his crush. So we'll try one more time to get over Stuart as a crush and maybe we'll try and find someone for Gabriel. Okay, he's no longer plagued with thoughts of Stuart, but Stuart is going to move out. So we will join the cheerleading career with Carla. Okay, the ultimate horse competition is available. <laughs> and it recommends everything be level 10. Uh, we have everything level 9 with Tornado. I don't know if we'll place. We probably won't because it seems like this competition is harder than all of the others. No, we did not place. All right, well, I don't think that Butterscotch will place. I couldn't even get Butterscotch to be confident. So yeah, this is not going to work, but hey, it's a random roll. Yeah, I could have seen that coming. All right, I have repurchased the fame perk Career Hopper. So let's see if I get to join at the max level of the cheerleading after school activity or not. It says now hiring cheerleading captain. I guess I do get to go back to the top level. Yep, level three. Stuart keeps calling the other members and he invited Gabriel to join a club, Complimentary Colors, and he wanted Rhonda to come and hang out. I'm just ignoring him right now. Come on, Stuart, we are over you. You are not in part of the household anymore. <laughs> Okay, so Rhonda has eight days until age up and Gabriel has eight days until age up and Carla has four. Okay, so in order to make it one more week and go to the cheerleading competition on Friday, I need a potion of youth. Although I don't need to drink my potion of youth yet because I still have four extra days. So just in case we have to do another week, I'll wait a little while. Ooh, yeah. Now I've started a gathering of teens and I've invited some teens over that might potentially be a match for Gabriel. So let's just get to know a few of them and see if we can figure out if anything might work out for him. Recycle Disciple. Okay, I had high hopes for for Gale, but Recycle Disciple, no, that's a deal breaker. You will recycle everything in my house. Hmm, who else might be a good match? Well, Jackson, your choice in makeup and jewelry is, let's just say, unique. Okay, materialistic, not that great, but better than Recycle Disciple. Are you single? You're single. Let's see if you will flirt with me. Okay, so Gabrielle has a crush on Jackson immediately as soon as I flirt. Let's just give him our number. He doesn't like the hot weather. One thing I don't like about the high school years expansion is it seems like the teens get crushes way too easily. Although I do understand that... It's because The Sims is so fast, you know, things have to happen fast because basically you don't get a lot of time. Okay, I want at least a little bit of a romance bar between the two. I mean, I don't want things to progress that far, but I want just a little bit of a rom- There we go. That's good enough. Because if we have a little bit of a romance bar, and now it's awkward, uh, then he might actually ask us out and he might ask to become our boyfriend. So we'll just leave things at that. We're not going to push it too far. Stuart, have you ever heard of something called the motive trials? Apparently they take a bunch of Sims and put them in some remote place and let them battle it out like royalty. Do you think you'd want to be a part of something like that? Not with you, Stuart. Reached agility level 10. Congratulations. Horse experts from near and far would agree that Tornado is a world-class pro of agility. Few horses are this adept at navigating barrels. 
The Ironworks signage agility object is now available for purchase in build mode under the wall decorations section. It would sure look great on a ranch sign. Okay, well, I guess that's the only benefit of getting to level 10 is that you get those sign additions. And we're skipping prom this time. Well, we're just finishing up some horse training here, although Tornado is getting pretty tired, so he probably won't so she probably won't be able to train for very much longer. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.